My team. Hi. Let me introduce my team from now on. My team name is Grape. And the team members are composed of Sung Hon Kim, Ha Jin Oh, and Hyun Sung Lee. And we are all fifth graders and we live in Anyang, Korea. Our achievements are Creative Coding Challenge Korea 2025, Rescue Basic U12 First Place Award, Creative Coding Challenge Korea to 0 to 4, May's Basic Best Research Award. We have successfully participated in coding and robotics competitions, demonstrating strong research and problem-solving skills. Challenge Summary Let's take part in Robo Cup, Asia Pacific 2025, Junior Rescue League, Rescue Line Entry, Challenges Explained, Methods Strategies for Autonomous Robot Construction to Rescue Victims in Dangerous Areas, Sensor-Based Navigation, and AI decision making, teamwork and innovative design results and conclusions, improved robotics and problem solving skills. I participated in a cell that promotes innovation and global collaboration. Robot design. Our robot is made of two things, the first being able to climb a hill well, and the second being able to ride a line well. Hill mission robot design. The wheels and motors are positioned to the hub to optimize power transmission for hill climbing. Hill climbing robots have smaller footprints than tightrope walking robots. Line mission robot design. The robot has a slightly larger size, with color and distance sensors in place to monitor the line below. Motor in a slightly off hub position for optimal alignment. Software design and evidence. We learn basic line following and apply it. The line following of two color sensors is made into a table and a flow chart. Strategic and innovative solutions. We've written the program in two ways. The first is basic to color sensor line tracing. The second is the PID, which can control the wheels by the value of light, reflective light, with two color sensors. The first solution is the basic principle of line tracing using two color sensors. To explain this, if the left sensor is black, and the right sensor is black, it stops. If it is black and white, it rotates to the left. If it is white and black, it rotates to the right. If it is white and white, it will move forward. The second solution is PID control using to color sensors, and if you explain this, using to color sensors, using PID control in proportion to the value of the light, the power of the wheels is controlled. Separate green at intersections with additional program solutions. At the intersection, the program has been added to rotate in the green direction of the green zone. Separating intersections without green. In order to distinguish the intersection without green by the distance, I went back one centimeter, checked the color, and changed the movement by changing the conditions accordingly. AI tools used. The AI tool we used is PapaGo, which is a translation tool. Presentation translation and voice replacement. I made a presentation video and captions using a CapCut. Knowledge sharing. Let's share a good method that my team used. We used PID control among the different methods of driving. However, PID control is a little difficult, so I decided to use only P proportion proportional control among them. P control is simply a control of multiplying error values by a specific number, and it is a method of controlling the power of the wheel by checking the light reflective light values of the two color sensors and calculating them as follows. However, using only P control causes two problems. First, the error value approaches zero as the target value is reached, and the amount of calculation is too small to reach the target value in the end. Second, if the p-value is too large, overshooting, and if it is small, it takes a long time. That's why ID integration, differential, is added and used to solve the problem. Thank you for listening to my team's presentation so far.